yo, Nakama Worldwide, welcome back to Konkazaki Corner. It's your boy Serge. Yo. It's your boy. Rooks is not here, but he is away in Bali, getting that time, surfing the waves, and he's going to be back with us soon. So shout out to Rooklyn. You know he's always going to be with us, even when we're recording. But it's your boy Vim, and we are back again, bringing you another chapter review of One Piece 949 Mummy. Hey, but before we do that, please remember to smash the subscribe button. Make sure you like the video, click it right now, like the video, it helps us grow and we appreciate all you lot that have been doing it. And if you haven't seen it from last week, check the description link in the description below or it'll be on the top right of this video. There's a link we can click on to see where we were at. But before we begin, of course, as always, we want to salute and thank every single one of you. Thank you. Appreciate you all for joining us on our journey. Love you. Everyone that subscribes, all the new subscribers, everyone that comments down in the section below, Yes, it's approaching right. 200. We've got a giveaway at 200. We're going to let you know close. in the next few weeks where it's going to be. So it's all good. Love it. Keep sharing us. We need to keep getting to We need to smash that 200 mark, guys. Come on. But we're not going to keep you waiting. We're going to just say that this week was rather, rather incredible. I mean, that front cover. What did you think? Ooh. Hey, man. Now, first of all, we've got the Shonen Weekly Jump cover. And again, the Straw Hats have taken over. Dominated. Dominated this game, man. We've got. Lovely Robin Ooh. and Nami. Yep. And we've got the samurai haircuts. The samurai, samurai haircuts on all of them, bro. Even Luffy's got it if yeah, you look carefully, yeah, you can man. See it. You so can the see straw it. hats in full effect. We've got the Wayno theme going strong. Even Luffy's got his hand on a sword. But Zoro's ready to slice someone. Look at his hands. He's looking. I don't know what he's looking at. Dude. Basically, you know, if you look at the picture, he's looking behind Luffy because he's yeah. got his back. Aye. I like you see it. it. You see I it. like it. You see it. All right. But what I want to draw your attention to, tell me if it means something to you. So you got that, but then in a separate part, you know, you got like the other animes and stuff. There's a little circle that's highlighted around Zoro and it says One Piece. So, and then Boichi. Now, I, don't, I can't read Japanese yet. Yeah, I forgot my native tongue, but I will learn it. Peace, to, peace and love to you all. But yeah, what could that be? Absolutely incredible. Let us know your thoughts, please. Then for the chapter, we've got a front color spread and I do like it. Wow. Did not know how big Chopper's head is. Hey, mud. Chopper on a board, like, so he's there, he ain't got his hat on because he's in the pool. Chopper on board. L um, Zoro is just laid out there in the water, water covering his body. Sanji's playing with the fishes. You got, hey man, what's up? He's got a bit of a body going on there, okay. man. Look at the muscles, the definition. What's up, got you know? Swimming. He's That's how you get, get in the swimming pool, man. That's Let's the workout for the summer. Luffy sitting on a gorilla, eating a big banana that the gorilla's Crazy. feeding him. Well, Robin. Robin's wearing a great bikini. Everything on full display, holding her cocktail. Frankie's drinking in the background. We've got Frank, um, Brooks playing some, playing some nice music. And Nami's oh, helping Nami's trying to, get, trying to help peel the banana, man. That's really nice of her. But then on the side, more importantly, you know, it says, July 22nd is One Piece Day. Color cover to celebrate 22 years of One Piece and all your support of the way, you know what? Salute, man. Shout out to all that 22, 22 years, years going man. strong. strong. Um, All right, and on the side, Tremors shoot through the Flower Capital. The White Hot Volume 93 is on sale now. Grab that. Brand new Vivre Card Booster pack on sale Friday, August the 2nd. All right, it, we'll be looking forward to that one. If you can, if you got that around you, pick them up. All Support. Right. Without further ado, we go into the key moments and analysis. And it was a beautiful chapter. Ooh, there was action. Crazy. There was power. There was a moment of, wow. Salute to the king. So it starts off, we've got the guards are shooting plague bullets. Sick people. Luffy and Chopper are hitting everyone. Chopper gets it. We haven't seen Chopper swing a punch in no. a while, but he goes big, throws a punch because he's disgusted how dare you use disease to attack people and they, manipulate. They go to a despicable point where they don't care how they fight you. As long as they get rid of you, it doesn't matter to them. Yogoro's throwing kicks on punches, protecting the samurai. Everyone's getting it in. Every, Razzle, Kappa. Every. Like, they're all fighting. Beautiful, yeah? Then, we've got... Now, this was interesting. Razo throws the keys to Kid and Killer. He says, unlock yourselves. Get involved. But you just got Kid. And we, that's the only moment we really saw Kid there. Kid is just like... He looks like he doesn't know whether he wants to continue right now. Kid doesn't care about getting involved at that moment. It's not, it's not about being involved in the fight. He, I think, he's still trying to digest about his right-hand man. Cause, and then they zoom in on his right hand man and how messed up he is, man. Crazy. It's going to factor into an importance because we'll talk about that in the predictions anyway, man. So we learned that the plague bullets, if they land, they spread. It's yeah, contagious. contagious. 
and they make you feel like you're burning inside out and you cough out blood. And they're called, obviously, what the chapter's called? Mummy. Mummy. So prisoners have the virus, someone gets hit, it starts to spread. And then we get to the main part of the chapter where there's a speech, Ooh, big speech and standoff Tell between us. all these diseased prisoners. Let's go. And they are looking at Luffy and it's turned into a versus of all of against Udon. I'm going to read it because I don't want to paraphrase. No, definitely. And they tell him, please just leave. If you lot hadn't shown up, none of this would have. Even if you all are the nine red chiefs, the ones that we all thought had died 20 years ago, you aren't winning this fight, not against Kaido. Not against that giant dragon that soars through the heavens. Woo! None of you stand a chance against anyone in the 100 Beast Pirates. Damn. Look around you. One weapon created by just one of his subordinates can wreak such destruction. Look at this depressingly fearsome power. They're broken men. He's right if you outsiders hadn't showed up. Today would have been just another day in Udon. We wouldn't have met with. And then Luffy <laughs> grabs the prisoner and touches him. Squeezes his cheeks. And then he, because we've got the rat, oh, Kiku, yeah, he, yeah, he. let's get a rat, or she, however you want to be considered. No, Luffy Taro, you mustn't touch him. And you see him c catching the disease in his arm. It's, it's literally... Bzz. Then, his face is now, instead of covered in haki, he has that kind of gear four face, but it's just <laughs> a disease coming over. Disease, you can see it like and he uses a rubber ability and just grabs them all, man. He gives them a bear hug. Oh, man. And then he talks to them. And they're all looking at him. you got um, the Daifugo. you got Rizo. Rizo. The prisoners. They're like, is he crazy? What are you doing, Luffy Taro? And then he talks. The king speaks. Let's get it. Would you? What's so depressing about this? This beep ain't going to work on me. Damn right. Don't know. Stop bluffing, Luffy. Get away from them. That shopper is so concerned. The samurai have known. They're all so strong. And yet, you guys have been shattered to pieces. Down to your spirits. Truth. Just another day is obeying every command just so you can scrape by on tiny little dumplings. Just another day to you. Open your eyes, damn it. Throws them down. you all become slaves. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. He just is literally wake up. And they're all just touched and shocked. They're like, wow. They're, they're, this, they're, they're taking us it's back. Sim it's symbolic. I'm going to get into that. I'm going to break it down. I'm going to break it down right now. you got to understand, yeah? Luffy is winning them over. Yeah. But he's winning them over because he's suffering with them. There you go. He ain't, he's not, you're there telling me we're outsiders. We're not, you lot have caused well, us now, problems. I'm in the middle of it. I'm a part of the problem. Let's go. It. And I'm going to have to fix it. this. Not having it, man. So then you got, um, what's it, Momonosuke and um, Tama. Tama yeah, they're watching yeah. him. Wow. And he's not, they say he's not looking well. You got um, Daifugo, you know, saying crazy bastard. What's he doing? And he carries on talking. So what? If I'm from some other country, can an outsider not protect this place? And visibly, Luffy getting worse. So yeah, he's, he's starting to bleed. Bleeding. He's looking a bit weaker. I made a promise. A promise in Curry with a friend named Tama. A little girl that gave me her only meal. I told her that I'd make this country into a place where every, everyone will be able to eat to their fill. And the prisoners are listening. They're feeling it. And then there's the flashback. And she says, oh my God, big bro. And the flashback to that moment where he's sitting. He's like, by the time we leave this country, we'll make it a place where you'll get to eat your fill every single day. Big boy. As long as you guys can't do even that, this place will be a living hell. And yes, I've heard the stories of Odin. He really was something else. But 20 years ago, the day that he was killed by Kaido, this country came to a halt. We've come to defeat Kaido. Epic, epic, right. epic, epic. There's no reason our own allies should be getting in our way. So it's time for you all to decide. Will you side with us or will you side with Kaido? Is he and they're looking, is he serious? And then Kyogoro is watching on. You still, no, yeah, you, still on. you still give us a chance? And Kyogoro says he's gotten by the heart, by the heart. Crazy. And he's clinging on something fierce. Beautiful speech, man. Man. And it's then obviously you've got <laughs> Babanuki's looking. He's like, this is bad. He swayed him. They're having second thoughts. But then he throws out some other big boy disease weapon. Loads it in his elephant gun. 200 shot of a plague. The plague shot. Crazy. And he's just like, and then Kappa. Probably has some next level hack. He notices it, but can't do nothing. Oh, Baba Nuki is about to shoot something at us. No, Chief Jailer, that's... No, please, not that. Ha, too late. And bam! <laughs> Luffy grabs the elephant's trunk and blocks the shot. Baba Nuki looks on. And Luffy looking sick. Tell him. Tell him what he said. Caught a glimpse of a pretty bad future just now, so... Huh? Do you know what's crazy? You know how Luffy is normally, like, aggressive and... Because he's so weakened. He's like, relax, mate. 
just for a second, I've seen something I don't want to like. So ain't happening. Ain't happening. Crazy. Destroys Babanuki from the inside out. Sends a shot. Look inside. at that epic picture. He just ties up. It. No, he tied up. So if you look, he tied, tied up, up his trunk, turns his back on him, and lets it walks explode. away. It's like when you hit a strike in bowling and you walk away. You know, like easy, Iron Man did in his first easy movie. Easy work. Hey, and they were looking. Kappa says, "What a dependable man." Luffy looks at everyone and says, "You guys can clean up the rest." So then Daifugo the jailer. It's like, oh, hey, hold it, you fools. Remember the first punishment that anyone gets that stands up to a jailer is, yeah, 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 we don't care. We've decided to rebel. Yeah. And then we finish. We're eight days away from the final battle. And boy, Udon has been captured. And Hyogoro ends it with, wonderful young straw hat. You've really brought some incredible help, Kinemon. Woo. Hey. Perfect. He showed him his true metal. Definitely. What an amazing chapter. Brilliant. But that takes us on to predictions and plot. I want to predict that we're going to stay in Udon only because we're going to have a conversation between him and Kid. We need to have some sort of dialogue. But I also want to predict that we move away because Udon's done and he's captured. My prediction is, um, so I've said this, um, Oda does have a, I'm not, I, haven't figured, I haven't discovered America here, but he does have a certain pattern. And I said, Wayno resembles Marinford. Fine. And what happened before the main battle of Marinford? Luffy got sick. Had to be healed. Poisoned. So now... You can see visibly through this chapter, he's been sick. I think now. But we saw that though. Yeah. Yeah. So are we, but need with the, him? we still need to have the process of yeah, healing him. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. You're so right. Chopper has to do something. Has to. This is a time where they're gonna have to go lick their wounds. Yeah. 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 As they planned, we're gonna all get together. Chopper's gonna have to heal him. Zoro still has to be healed, I believe. Udon is now their base. Yeah. Effectively, they run Udon, right? I think they'll leave Udon. You think so? Yeah, yeah. They need but they captured it, so they don't need to move anywhere. They captured it, but remember, Queen can come back. Yeah, fine. You, know, you don't want to be in Udon. You don't want to be where the enemy knows where fine, you are. Fair enough. Yeah. So I think they will go, and they will gather the rest of the samurai. Yeah. I predict because we saw another add-on. It's not in this chapter, but there was an article on One Piece. If you Google it, um, we'll add the description in the link below. Where in the new anime trailer for Wano, it's kind of clear who the third samurai is. It's kind of confirmed. It is Kor Komorosaki's protector. Yes, yeah, Kishiro. Name? Kishiro. I think Zoro is going to win over Kishiro. Okay. So we have to get... So we need to see that as well as prediction. Um, leading on from what you were saying about them moving away, I think you're right. And I also want to predict that we're going to get a lot more stronger allies because Udon is not just that small centre area where we're focused on. It's got different layers into it. So those individuals are now going to be coming out of the woodworks and we're getting introduced to a lot of new people. We're gonna pretty we're gonna see where Laura is at with Beppo. Oh. I think we're gonna predict with so to wrap up, Udon's done. Yeah. We have to go back to the town to see what Zoro's doing with Definitely. Kashiro, what um, Laura's, Laura's doing Laura's against Laura's Hawkins. Hawkins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And where's Jack? Yeah. We're gonna end act two with a bang. Perfect. With a cliffhanger. That's mm -hmm. my prediction. Cool. Which leads us on to question time. Oda. Talk to him. Respect to you. You make me high every single week. But as much as I love the development of Luffy, all we're seeing is Luffy development. We're seeing his observational hack. He's going through the roof. He's start, He's even knocking on the door of the next level armament hacky. What's going on with Zoro and Sanji? Tell us, man. You've got to raise them for us, man. We need to go to the other people, man. Like We've kind of set the base that Luffy now... We've got all the ingredients. Are you going to let us see the rest? Are we going to develop the rest? Another thing is now, what I want to say about Kid, yeah? yeah. Is Kid going to do a madness? Okay. Because the way he looked, he looked like he about to do something yeah. bad. And I'm, is Chopper going to heal Killer? Yeah, yeah. Great question. Because that would be a great ally. Great question. Those are the two strongest allies yeah, you're going to get. 100%. Is Kid broken? And I'm not saying broken in terms of like broken in spirit. But is he broken in a sense because he doesn't know what he's supposed to do because of what's happened? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, in, it's an emotional moment where, look at my best friend, I couldn't protect him. Yeah, I let down my crew. I let down my crew. That, damages, that damages a captain more than anything else. Yeah, man. Rather than any, but with Chopper in the mix and Chopper, hopefully, we're looking if he can like, change Killer's look and everything else. That might change everyone's situation. It would be crazy, man. Yeah. But we have to see and wait what happens. And final question. Are we going to see that convo with Big Mum and Kaido? So oh, my God. That. that will be epic. Well, part of today's show, MVP of the week. It can't be no one else. UD, baby. Unanimous decision. Luffy! Hey, man. Huh. The king has spoken. I mean, the guy took on disease. 
Just out of passion and principle, man. He declared war on Kaido in front of them without hesitation. He's prophesied into in, into the, like Kaido. Goes we down are this going way. to defeat Kaido. We're gonna make sure this country eats. He doesn't let nothing loose. He even said he gave give a shout out to Odin. Yeah. That was crazy. I've heard a lot about Odin. He's done great, but, but he died twenty years ago. And you lot have lost your spirit since then. Let's move on. Man, unanimous decision. Oh, Luffy's man. MVP of the week. If you have anyone else, or if it's Luffy, please comment your reasons down below. Why? Any questions, any predictions, please share your ideas. Comment it down in the section below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button. Fire chapter. And if you like Conquest, I can hit the like button. Don't forget to share the video. The more you share, the more we grow. And the sooner we can give back, man. Definitely. But from Conquest, I can call it. It is that time again. Peace, Peace out. out.